and with political overtones that are now coming in the campus front of India outfits delegation is now meeting the woman who had worn the full body veil who remember was heckled on 8 of February by anti hijab protesters in Karnataka's Mandya remember campus front of India is the students wing of hardline group SDPI and there are claims coming in and that this group primarily was instigating some of the protests as well by the students so now the SDPI student wing in Mandya in Karnataka our delegation is now meeting that girl and these I can see that the visuals the photographs are on your screen one of the girls remember on the other side the visual of February 8 a very heartbreaking visual of course that a lone girl being heckled by these boys uh, and who are flaunting and flashing the sacral saffron scarf and in reaction she also shouted slogans of uh, wearing a full body veil she appeared to be heading into the campus premises and behind her you can see those male students before the administration members accosted her away now this group's delegation the campus front of india meeting her and to help you understand why we are bringing to you this big news right now is because this campus front of india a controversial in some nature is the student wing of the hardline group sdpi in the state of karnataka elections scheduled a year away already a student issue should have been managed at the management parent level has gone beyond it it has led to protests on the streets student groups who were otherwise friends are now confronting each other which the management the government of the state has not been able to resolve the schools are shut the matter is in the court now while protests breaking out in different parts of india a very commonly polarizing issue right now on your screens that has started between the students who otherwise were just sitting in their classes a few months away so that's the big news coming in i'll get my reporters as soon on the ground as well campus front of india which is the student wing of the hardline group sdp and karnataka decides to now go and meet this girl at this point remember these are minor students most of them below the age of 18 and then first to be confronted with the sort of protest that these girls had to be not be able to have a resolution so they can return to their classes and then these political outfits jumping in into the situation and uh, we'll try and get you what exactly was taking place between the groups but now we can confirm to you that the CFI delegation is there on the location and this remember while there are different statements coming in from the minister the minister in the state government led by the BJP said that the girl was also shouting slogans that it didn't appear that there were any protests around her but the visuals clearly show that there were these if not male students from the college or from other colleges are flaunting flashing the saffron scarf at her while she's alone and she's going toward the campus and why the situation had to come to this level what was the government of the state doing when the students were coming out with these claims that they want to now wear the scarf and want to be allowed into the colleges now some of the girls remember are telling our reporters that they have always worn it a claim that administration dis uh, denies right now and the matter is currently being heard in the karnataka high court where the lawyers the petitioners lawyers are saying these girls need to return to their classrooms time is of essence their examinations are scheduled just about a month from now and not just her remember when the school is shut there are other students also who are not able to go into the classes it's a complete showdown the management has no idea now how to resolve this issue the court will have the final order and we'll expect it as soon as possible we are constantly giving you updates on that but for now that photograph on your screen defines how politically motivated the situation has become the sdpi hardline sdpi student wing groups lands up at her door meeting her and at this point when there are a lot of other activists who are also saying there needs to be a peace formula a middle path an interim relief that needs to be brought in for these students to return so is this about essential practice of religion is this right to education is it both or importantly is this just politics where these students minors are being used as political pawns to perhaps achieve a bigger goal in the state of Karnataka right if the viewers you've just tuned in the campus front of india delegation meeting the 
girl who was wearing this full body veil and Nabila Jamal because has been tracking and talking to all these girls from the past few days. A CFI, Nabila, has been controversial and now one of their delegation lands up at her door. Uh, any specific reason why they are there? What would uh, the discussion be? Because this clearly is how this is going to become much more political. The Bhartiya Janata Party will expectedly jump in. They will say, we always said this was going to be political, that these girls are being instigated. How are then you picking up on the ground situation here? Right, uh, we are looking at political parties really taking extensive yes. mileage out of this undoubtedly here, uh, Pooja. In fact, uh, we saw, uh, like we heard the girls saying themselves, they've admitted that they were forced to go to the PFI, to the SDPI to try and seek help from them. They mentioned the PFI in their statement when they were speaking to me. Uh, while on the other hand, you have a BJP MLA like uh, uh, Raghu Bhatt, who himself has said, if you don't take off the shawl, if you don't take off the scarf, then boys will come to tomorrow with saffron shawls. So him making a statement like this, even before the uh, the counter protest where boys wore saffron shawls and came up outside colleges, has really questioned uh, what Raghu Bhatt was really thinking when he made that statement because exactly what he said happened a day later. So was there, is there a political instigation to this? The girls have been probably backed by PFI. Uh, the, the, uh, the other boys who come up with saffron shawls have probably been backed by several right-wing groups who are, who are of course, uh, whether, we, whether we're looking at these political parties endorsing it or not, the fact that they're not suppressing it, they're not stopping it, uh, they're not controlling the matter right in time before it escalates, really questions their integrity and uh, their intent in this entire case, undoubtedly. And now, Nabila, I said yes. uh, politics there brewing in Uttar Pradesh. We're looking at this uh, hijab row echoing in UP as well. You had Prime Minister Modi speaking about Muslim women. You had uh, extensively uh, uh, OAC there talking about Muslim women and the hijab and... Uh, you know, now it's almost become a pull plank. And, and this while, strangely, Nabila, remember how even the minister and the government saying that uh, why was she shouting slogans and they were not students, there were no students around her. So it's not that the government is really helping matters being resolved at this point. That's precisely what I said. The fact that the government came out and imposed a ban. So far, there wasn't a written rule that said uh, hijab is banned or that the uniform, uh, the Karnataka Education Act that, sa that sp speaks of uniformity never spoke about what a uniform really comprises of and whether or not the hijab comes in the ambit of the uniform or not. So schools, institutions... There, because